According to the Quran, what happens when you die? Where will your soul go? Okay, our soul will be going to a place that is what we call as Barzakh. Barzakh. Barzakh is a, is a means that a thick wall that separates between that world and our world. That they will never come back until the moment of the day of judgment. And then everyone will yes, come back and be judged. The soul will be put back into the body. And we will be judged accordingly. And that is why in Islam, the articles of faith number five is to believe in the hereafter. Because I believe that you will agree with me that the justice will not be fully served in this world. Okay, but this is where I have a small issue. No problem. Could an all-loving being, could he punish any one of us even? Even one of us could he punish us and banish us to not be by his side. Because in our humanity, we made mistakes and we did not understand his greatness. No. Could he hold that against us for all eternity? Exactly. I can't believe that the all-knowing, all-powerful, all-loving God would do that to even one of us. Before I answer the question, if you look back into the Quran, in Surah Isra chapter 17, verse number 15, Allah says that he will not punish a nation until he has sent a messenger to them. Now, how sure we are that those people who die as a disbeliever, God will punish him. Did the clear message being conveyed to them first? That's the first thing. We're not sure. But you still think? I mean, you, it seems that what the Quran is saying yes. is that I bring a message. I send uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes. He's a prophet. Yes. He brings the news. Yes. If you don't listen, you're in trouble. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because uh, you I see, struggle. Because where, where, where is the un, where's God's compassion? We are not trying to compare God and human because yeah. God mercy and our mercy is totally different. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we just put it this way that, can you imagine that a boss, he don't want to fire anyone. No, no employee wants to fire anyone. Yeah. But if continuously, the staff give, keep on giving excuse, excuse. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I'm all loving, man. <laughs> I need to keep this guy. I mean, can you imagine he has five kids? He has five, five kids and two parents I've who are done old that. age. I've kept them for way too long. Yeah, we, <laughs> yes. And then, end of the day, what do you do? It hurts the business. Eventually, one day, I just, you have to look after everyone else. Yes. God is all mercy, all loving, all compassion. But God is also all just. We cannot just take God is loving and mercy, but rejecting His attribute of justice. There must be a justice being served. Now, how should we balance that between justice and also loving? You, you cannot say, because I'm all loving, just because you kill Him, I, I think it's okay. I mean, I will still put you in heaven. I mean, can you imagine a lecturer in, in, in the class, everyone doing the same exam, some pass, some fail, then I will pass all of you. <laughs> then the, 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 the students who are very hardworking, you will say, then what is the purpose? I'm staying late to do all the revisions, to do all my assignments, all my thesis, and at the end of the day, you're going to pass everyone. We have the concept of reward and punishment.